today uh, today's topic uh, we are going to discuss about temperature measurement the diagram itself it is describing that uh, it is uh, the hotness or coldness of an object which is emitted from an object this is described in our image this is the topic we are going to see that is the temperature measurement and these are the contents we are going to discuss today that is a uh, temperature measurement and what are the methods of temperature measurement are available and what is the types of the measurement which are uh, temperature measurement that is uh, there are two types one is the expansion thermometer one is expansion thermometer next one is the field system thermometer in expansion thermometers there are four types bimetallic thermometer liquid in gas thermometer liquid in metals thermometer gas thermometer after that in the field system we are going to see about the three types that is a uh, liquid filled thermometer mercury filled thermometer and then the vapor pressure thermometer now uh, before going to the temperature measurement we will see what is the temperature is temperature is nothing but it is a total amount of energy which is available in the object and uh, how much the heat is uh, which is coming out from an object or radiated from the object that is termed as an temperature and uh, when the how fast the molecules are moving around and uh, which will be getting collided when they are moving faster they will be getting collided at that time the temperature will be get raised that the heat will be get transferred from one energy to the another energy one form to the another form so the heat will be get produced then the temperature will be automatically raised then we will see in the what is the industrial process which are going to use uh, how we are going to use the temperature before that the accurate measurement of the temperature will be plays vital role in the industries in the production industries or also in the process industries the temperature is playing a major role uh, because uh, the power production also we will need the heat or the temperature or steam we have needed so for that purpose we are going we are, for in every industry production industry as well as in the process industry temperature is the main source which will be get measured and based on that the product will be manufactured as well as in the steel industries power generation in every uh, production units or uh, sugar cane industries or cement industries in the paper industries also the heat is the main source when the steam is getting passed only the liquid state will be converted to the gaseous state or the steam uh, this is the uh, what are the temperature is available that is a scalar quantity the temperature is measured in terms of the scalar quantity there are two quantities which are available one is the scalar quantity another one is the vector quantity but uh, temperature will lies in the scalar quantity and then the temperature will be measured in terms of hotness of an object or the coldness of an object then uh, molecules the molecules which is uh, when we are going to heat an object the molecules will be get moved faster when it is getting the speed of the molecules is getting increased the temperature also of an object also will be get increased then heat the heat is nothing but it is an form of energy which will be measured in terms of calories then how the heat is getting transferred from one object to the next object this is how we are going to see now here uh, in terms of the heat is transferred in terms of conduction convection and then the radiation these are the three parameters how that heat is transferred from one object to the other object then in the conduction means uh, for example we will take a metal cup coffee cup coffee mug or uh, we will term as a coffee mug here the metal means the heat will be absorbed by the metal easily so this is uh, the heat is transferred from coffee to the coffee mug 
because it is made up of metal it can be easily conducted the metal will conduct the heat from the coffee and then the second type is the radiation radiation uh, nothing but uh, we can take example as uh, sun sun rays we can take from the sun rays uh, the heat is getting radiated from uh, sun to the earth surface then the convection the convection means uh, if the in an uh, we can take it as an uh, air conditioning in the air conditioning the temperature will be there then the blower will be applying the force it will be uh, making the coldness to spread over the area this is the convection type then we will see how the heat is transferring from and also one term i have missed that uh, heat will be transferred from the hotness area to the high temperature area to the low temperature area the heatness will be transferred from and for example we will take here uh, here the 50 degree celsius the 50 degree celsius is the high temperature region here then 20 degree celsius is the low temperature region here from here the heat will be transferred from 50 degree celsius to the 20 degree celsius this is how the heat is getting transferred so for that i have showed this uh, example then uh, this is uh, how the heat is getting transferred by conduction conduction means our uh, body also our body also is an uh, conductor from here the heat will be transferred from the heating surface to our object my uh, object here is our uh, body here uh, by the conduction the heat is getting transferred then uh, heat heat how it is getting radi uh, transferred by conduction and the radiation here in the before case the direct conduction is happened but here the uh, we are using the tungsten bulb the tungsten bulb it will be getting uh, heated due to the when the current is passing uh, it will be getting heated uh, normally it will be getting heated then uh, the radiation is happening here here the radiation is happening by the radiation only the heat is getting transferred if you want to check it uh, you can place the our hands near the tungsten bulb then we, we can uh, see the how much the temperature is uh, radiated from the bulb we can uh, see this is happening by the conduction on the radiation then here the temperature is uh, nothing but the particles which are moving that is the molecules will be moving over a surface when the heat is the temperature is getting increased here when you are using the heat water when you are going to heat the water the molecules inside the waters will be moving faster when they are moving the objects will be getting hotter that is uh, each uh, molecules will be getting collided uh, based on the colliding the substance will be get the object will be getting heated that is the temperature will be increased when a substance which is getting uh, hotter the uh, then the consecutively the temperature will also getting goes up that is uh, the temperature also will be get increased then the temperature what is the temperature means it is a measurement of the hotness or cold coldness of an object because uh, we are going to consider these two parameters that is the coldness or the hotness these are the two parameters we are going to see and then the, we are using the thermometers basically for to measure the body temperature we will be using the thermometer that is a uh, mercury thermometers because if you are uh, if the temperature is getting increased automatically the liquid that is the mercury will be also getting expanded this is the comes under the type of expansion type expansion type thermometers if the in temperature is getting increased then uh, the mercury also will be getting expanded and it will be increasing to the higher range then the readings will be noted in the thermometers the scales will be available in the thermometer in the scales we can measure how much the temperature is going on then these are the temperature scales available one is the fahrenheit 
then celsius and the centigrade and then last one is the kelvin these are the three main parameters uh, for uh, measuring the temperature for a boiling point of an water is 100 degree celsius in terms of celsius it is 100 degree celsius in terms of the fahrenheit it is 212 degree celsius in case of the kelvin the same 0 degrees uh, 100 degree celsius is 373 degree kelvin 373 kelvin then if it is a freezing point of the water is 0 in case of the celsius in case of the fahrenheit it is 32 degree fahrenheit in case of the kelvin it is 273 kelvin then uh, this is also explained here uh, how much uh, for an uh, difference between the these three scales that is the uh, fahrenheit the difference between the fahrenheit celsius and then the kelvin and uh, this is the relations between these uh, different units one is the degree celsius is equal to degree fahrenheit that is uh, for, to calculate the degree celsius from the degree fahrenheit means we are the, this is the formula to convert from the fahrenheit to celsius that is uh, degree celsius is equal to degree fahrenheit minus 32 divided by 1 1.8 and to convert the celsius to fahrenheit the formula is degree fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 into degree celsius plus 32 and then for the kelvin degree celsius plus 2.73 kelvin this is the formula for convert from the celsius to kelvin then uh, temperature measurement there are uh, three types one is the non electrical type electrical type and the radiation type here uh, electrical and non electrical classes will comes under the contact type we are going to physically contact the sensor with the temperature source in case of the radiation type it is a non contact type uh, the sensor will not be directly contact with the temperature source and but uh, by passing the radiation it will be measuring the temperature that means uh, nowadays we are using the no contactless um, temperature measurements uh, the radiation will be passed in our uh, forehead and the temperature will be measured based on our uh, radiation This is the methods of the temperature measurement, sir.